Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Today's Gospel is from St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. And in this reading, Jesus assures us that he has prepared a place for us in his Father's house. Before we hear today's Gospel, let's pray with Father Gregory for understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, the trampling down all carnal desires. We may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. John. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and where I go you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.